Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hope TV. Here in studio with me is Asharo. And with me it's Freddy's. You are watching News on Hope TV. Thank you for joining us. This week, the students got a big surprise. Artists from all over the world came to the school for an art camp. Yes, Freddy, do you remember how it all got started? Oh, Sharon, it was mysterious and uh, b-boy, dancers, singers, all came to the school and we thought it was something special going to happen. Let's find out how the magic happened. process goes like this. We prepare. That's why we did the, the training with the staff. We get the staff together so that we're all on the same page, so that we, we understand on a deep level the concepts that we're working with, so that when the youth come, they, they, they come into a container that's, that's already formed. They, they call themselves the dream team. And uh, I, um, I think that it's a, it's a special group of, of people. And the, one of the beauty of, the, of this team is that it's very diverse. We are preparing to send away our students tomorrow for the camp. So we are pre planning how to bless them tomorrow. This camp is part of the healing process. This camp is part of empowering them. So it's not just a camp, it's, it goes beyond. To do an arts camp here is, is part of those things we do to help them to heal better and become better citizens. And also try to deal with the challenges they have. Yes! You should have scored from here! And you work on it by investing, you work on it by empowering people to make the right choices, you empower people to question things that affect their life on a day-to-day -day basis. That's what I want to see. It's almost like they come into a, a container of welcome that's been consciously prepared, both physically and sort of intentionally amongst the staff. And so that first stage when the youth arrive is uh, to create a sense of clarity about what the purpose and promise of the camp is, to engage the whole community in, in building the sort of agreements that are going to help us achieve the goals building community, getting to know each other, who's here, learning our names. Freddy! Tush! Friday! Teddy! Martin! Dennis! Liz! Patrick! Shamir! Dancing, singing, photography. Freddy, yeah. what are you doing? Well, Sharon, I'm trying to count up all the workshops that happen in the camp. Because I think our students got new skills out of it. Yeah, Freddy. Same to me and for all of us. Let's take a look at our first report. This is our first step into the world of art. More energy. Let's go and find something about break dancing. Hey, that was really good. Yeah. Very talented. Oh, Sharon. Oh. Pop TV show. Wow. How did you feel when you were practicing break dances? I felt really good. Um. Uh, happy to be uh, sharing some skills, but also learning uh, some, you know, some new ideas from all the different students. Dancing and feeling happy and being creative, uh, break dance is what I chose to use. See? Knee down. Oh, nice. And then draw another one. Yeah, and then draw a line. Yeah, nice. Uh, 
when you're getting into breakdance, you begin with, with basic steps, uh, what we call some of the foundation steps. Step, yeah, back. So let's do it together. One, two, three, and go, and step, and back. Get that. This is Hop TV Show. Yo, you're watching Hop TV. Do not get it twisted. Do not move. Nice to meet you, Mary. Nice to meet you, Freddy. How is the day? The day's moving on well. And uh, how is the calm at night? The calm is such funny, enjoyable, and uh, really, I'm enjoying it. Sure. Yeah. Since Monday or just today, you enjoy? Wow, since Monday, I'm enjoying because I've got new friends. Mm. Really, it's so fantastic. Yeah. Like um, today, did you enjoy some? Did you attend any workshop? Yeah, yeah. Was it interesting? So interesting. What was the workshop? It was all about hip hop. Hip hop and yeah, rap. Yeah, hop, hip and rap, hop, hip hop. What's about break dancing? Break dance is that dance that involves the movement of all your body parts. Uh, you can even use the fingers to dance. Mm -hmm. You can even use your hair to dance. Mm -hmm. You can even use your toes to dance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Assuming a big audience there at the front and you're on the stage. Mm. <laughs> hey guys, this is Thomas from Hope TV. Today we're gonna talk about drums. Now let us meet Cax, the drum master of the camp. So Cax, my first question to you is that what is a drum? Wow. A drum is a, a symbol of peace and unity. And let me say, plus entertainment, you know. The drum has got a very significant role in our country. And even to all, um, in most of the tribes, they use a drum as the symbol of freedom, rhythm, and peace. <laughs> Sometimes a drum is a symbol of communication to very many different things. Yeah. Sometimes a drum is, is played when calling people to come and attend to a certain cause. For the church, uh, like in different places, there is what we call damali kusigula, damali kusigula, damali kusigula. So when people hear that rhythm, everyone will just know that the service has started. So they will play like this. Wish you good luck and back the Hope TV. Yeah. Thanks, guys. And Hope TV, just. You can rap. Yes. You I can. Can. can you DJ? Yes, DJ. Nice, 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 nice. And uh, did you learn how to dance from the workshop? Today? Yes, you will learn. Yeah. And now I have a new way of rap. Yes, he called me Edward. I'm a man from the moon. I'm not fear. I have a hope in my mind. You welcome to hope. You welcome you all. Yes, God, I love you. I love you, my thing. You love me. You are the only one in my heart. I love you, God. God. Girl. <laughs> nice, 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 nice road, nice, nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. You thank you. <laughs> I enjoyed your rap and I think you have learned a lot from the camp. Yes, the other thing I learned from this camp is yeah. I learned how to take the photo. Snapping thing. Snapping thing, I know how to... I learned how to be to drum. To drum? And get Mr. Kak. Mr. Kak. Not only that, yeah. before this camp, I mm. 
I am so very fear even the, in the class I can't do anything. Yeah. You think as you've attended the camp and you've learned a lot from the camp, uh, what will improve in your life? I improve to share things with others. You improve to share things with others. To loving people. Share to love people. Yes, I have to respect all the people because I respect myself. Hey guys, this is what Long Live of TV. Sharon and we are in like we are in mask making workshop. There is we have potential first of all in Africa or Uganda. There is a lot of things around us. Nature provides to us. And we can actually utilize that to come up with good art. For example, now, for me, I chose plastic because plastic is uh, really not friendly with the environment. Instead of throwing it there, we can actually collect plastic and come up with something beautiful. For example? For example, mask making, what you're doing here. I really don't concentrate on one type of art. I always observe um, materials around, and I look at them and I think, I think a lot about that, or I observe and see what can I do. We are ready to make masks. So out of that mask, you can design your room, your dad's room, and you can sell. So you earn money. What we learned about art is that art also helps to clean our environment. trainers are some of the best artists in Uganda. Yes, Sharon, and they became a real family to us. More than just art skills, during family times and games, they gave us good important life lessons. When you're talking about youth empowerment or empowering young people, it's not, it's not enough to give them just educational opportunity, but it's what you need to provide for them are those opportunities that make them look deeper into themselves and be able to understand who they are and what contribution they can make to their society. Statement. If money is limited, male children, the boys, eh, should be educated before the female children. For me, I agree with that. Because if you educated a boy, you benefit it. You will benefit it. While if you educated a girl, she go and help other family, which is not good. Yeah. All of us, we we must study because a boy is not. We all of us we are equal. Girls, when they are taken at school, they can drop out very fast. Then boys, boys will just continue. And if you are to see now, the girls who started with in P1, they are now pregnant. But for us boys, you are still continuing. Yes. I disagree in a such a way that each and everyone has the capacities and rights. You can get pregnant right because other girls, they have a simple mind. If they are challenged, they just give up with their challenge. If you are challenged, you first take a step, get a device, and then you. You made that. You, you aim at and uh, you make sure that you succeed in what you are aiming at. As we do this work uh, in in various parts of the world, I see common issues that connect uh, that that all of the youth seem to address or give voice to in some way. And, and at, at, at its essence is, is how to have a meaningful life. They see a world that is not working. They see uh, an environment in danger. And, um, uh, and they see social systems you know, that are unfair and unjust. And they're wondering what their place in it all could be. So this, this very common problem or issue at its core is how do I live a life that makes sense? And I think of a river as a metaphor, as an image that reminds me of my, of, of, of my life. 
I think of it as a journey. That a river has a beginning. It could have its source from a lake, it could have its source from a mountain. But along the way, the river could have a twist. It could have something, it could have a rock maybe within, that causes it to take another route. When I was in primary five, my mom passed away. That was another twist of my river. It started taking a new direction. I'll invite you at this moment to just close your eyes. And I'm going to invite you on a journey to imagine. I want you to go back to the place where your river began. Which events, which events have shaped the way your river has come about? But I'll invite you, each and every one of you, to draw what you saw. Use colors, use pencils, use whatever is provided. River of Life uh, helps to tell a story that is very difficult to tell in words. I feel that sometimes, I, or the way I felt while doing this activity with the kids, or you know, doing this activity on my own as well, I felt that there was a lot to my life that could not be told with words. And sometimes I just lack the words to express it. Or sometimes the language is just deficient to express what I'm feeling. For me that says a lot. It says something about the depth of the stories that we have within that sometimes could just not be expressed in words. Be to be three people, if I've been, uh, I joined E6, after the 6 in second term, this rock, me mm. the, mm. when my father died. There is trouble in this universe and there is temptation, only difficult life and the good life or better life. That is mine. River of life, whereby someone tells a story which really touch, touches your heart. You find that a person moves in many situations, whereby the person had lost parents, and uh, pa both parents and relatives, but you find that the, the person was strong. The favorite memory from this camp is the river of life, an activity that enabled the facilitators and the children were able to come out with the problems that they have faced ever since they were born because it was a journey that begins and never ends. What was it like to share your story? You tell the truth and they give you what advice you should take. Even though you meet somewhere, you know that this one is not having parents, that, but even me, I'm not having. You say, oh, this one, you're you are having all the all one problem, the same problem. Everyone that was speaking in the family was courageous enough to say openly everything. Do you remember how much the public was laughing and screaming? Yes, it was really something. I'm trying to talk about our open mic night. Not just in Baba, nor Jennifer Lopez, but it was our own Hope North superstars who were trying to show off their new talents on stage. Yes, that was an amazing event. Let's look at the highlight of the show. I hope everyone is enjoying the show. Oh, yeah. I hope everyone is enjoying the show. Was, was a blast. I saw, I saw the hearts of young people just come out. Give me your eyes, I give you my music. Yes, we got it. It's back in the front of you. Yeah.
Yesterday was really fantastic because many students managed to show up their talents which they gained from the camp. It's really a unique tool for, for, for expressing and for opening and for allowing that, that we all have inside, to come up. During the art camp, it was our tradition to finish the programs with music. So, let's finish our news tonight with a music video from our funky stuff. That's all for this year's camp. Thank you for watching Hope TV. Stay happy, creative. See you next camp. It's me, Freddy, and Sharon. Hope TV. because I've become confident. Nice. For me, I'm very, very grateful. <coughs> Yesterday, our director boss for us mangoes. Yes. We enjoyed it serious. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Director. I'm very grateful, actually, for the cooks. Because they are the ones making us actually smile. But I'm very grateful that I've shared my ideas and I never did that before. I'm so grateful for that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hope TV. In studio here, it's with me is Sharon. I'm, and I'm with Freddy. I'm with Fred. I'm you say, here and with, with me is Freddy. And with me, it's Freddy. We go. Don't forget that part. 